Now, this could not be caused in any other way than by a blow at that exact point. Now, you described to me, Mrs. Goss, how she fell over backwards and hit her head. Well, that's amazing, isn't it? I mean, well, you wouldn't think it could happen, would you? No, you would not. You see, that place is here. Now, the fall you described to me, Mrs. Goss, and I asked you to describe it to me twice, in my opinion, could not have caused a fracture in that place. Now, I was wondering if there were any other suggestions either of you might make as to how it might have happened. I'd like you to think carefully. Well, I am thinking, but I don't know what to say, though. I mean, uh... Well, well I, I mean, she couldn't have fallen down the steps, could she? Oh, you would have remembered that, wouldn't you? Uh, well, you never left on her own at all, did you? Well, no, it's, it's a mystery. Look, yeah. Mr. Goss, I should make it clear. Anything you say here is entirely confidential. Miss oh, oh, yeah, well, I mean, with doctors record. and nurses and that, you take it all for granted, don't you? Yeah, but I, I, I don't know what to say, though. Do you, love? Do you hit her sometimes when she's naughty, Mr. Goss? No, I don't hold with hitting kids. Neither of us do. I'm sorry if this causes you offence, but I must put this next question directly to your wife. Have you ever seen your husband hit your child? No. No, I don't think so. Yeah, never mind, I don't think so, have you, haven't you? No, I haven't. No. You hit yourself over there? Fit of temper? Or... Well, hit her own kid. Now, do me a favour, look at her. She wouldn't hurt a fly, would you? Mr Foster. Now, I'd like you to look very carefully at these, please. As well as x-raying your baby's head, Mr. Foster, at my request, also did a complete skeletal survey. That is, he x-rayed her entire body and limbs. Now, this picture is of your child's left arm. It clearly shows a healed fracture there, just above the elbow, from a break which occurred about four or five weeks ago. The other picture is of her ribs. There is another healed yeah, fracture. Hold on, no, I mean, well, who's to say from that who it is, eh? I mean, that, that could be anybody's kid. Who's to say? I am, Mr. Goss. Those are x-ray pictures of your baby. Jesus Christ. She, she they're trying to say that that's our man, Look, Mr. Goss, now you're a, too a powerfully built man, Mr. Goss. What might just seem like a slight tap. No, no, you? I've never ever hit... Uh, have I ever hit her? It's really obvious that the child has been hit and... Mr. and Mrs. Goss, it is my duty to tell you that I am not satisfied by what you have said. I believe that this child's injuries are not capable of being caused by any known form of accident or disease and that there are therefore reasons for suspecting that they must have been inflicted on her by some person or persons in her home environment. And it is also my duty to inform the appropriate authorities that this is authorities, my Authorities? What authorities, eh? Do you mean the police? Yeah, come on, Sheila, I'm not stopping and listening to no more Now, just this. a moment. Now, it, it could be the police, Mr. Goss, but it doesn't have to be. Whether or not it is depends upon you, but if you leave now, I'll have no alternative. What's that supposed to mean, then? Well, I can't guarantee that they won't at some later stage be brought into it, but I'm prepared to leave that decision up to someone else, if you'll cooperate with them. Someone else like who? I'd ask someone from the local children's department or the NSPCC to call at your home and make a report. I'm not having no one from the children's department coming round. No, and I'm not having a cruelty people, neither. Well, that leaves me with no alternative. Oh, yeah. It'll have to be the children's department then, won't it? If they come, I go. I mean it, Eddie. Well, you wouldn't sooner have the cruelty man coming round with his uniform in front of everyone. uniforms nowadays, Mr. Goss. What you got against the children's department, eh? Oh, God, I don't... Well, I mean, that wouldn't mean that... We, we, we can still come and see you, can't we? Yes, yes, of course you can. But you will be at home later this afternoon. This afternoon? Oh, yeah, we'd have to be, won't we? But honestly, Doctor, I mean, I... I d Come on, Sheila. If I may say so, sir, in my opinion, you should inform the police. It's obvious by his behaviour, he's already... Nobody asked record. your opinion. I'm sorry, sister. You may very well be right. However, Miss Hamilton, get me the NSPCC, will you, please? Mrs. Goss. Find it a field in the car. Oh, thank you.
this is Goss. Good afternoon, my name is Martin Ashton and I'm from the NSPCC. Eddie! Eddie! Ah, it's the cruelty people! You from me? It's true. Good afternoon. Well, uh, say hello to the lady, Timmy. She, uh, you know, well, say hello then. Now. Hello. hello then. Hello. Hello. Who are you then? Oh, this is our uh, number one. Number one, isn't it? Number yeah. Hey, uh, you the number one. Oh, what? Listen. Your mum and me's got to have a talk with this here lady. Mm -hmm. So you stop out of here and, and play, will you? Mm -hmm. Hey, good boy. Don't go out of sight now, will you? Right, we'll have you out to start with. Go on, hop it. Well, come on in, since you want to talk to both of us, won't you? My name's uh, Goss, Eddie Goss. It's my wife, Sheila. I'm Margaret Ashdown. Uh, can I, uh, can I sit here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's a bit untidy, but I... <clears throat> well, do you want a cup of tea? Thank you very much. I'd love one. Yeah, rot it up a bit, love. Do you mind if I smoke? No. Do you, uh... Roll me over, thanks. Mrs Goss? No, thanks. Yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> it's you that's got to decide then, is it? I mean, well, like what's going to happen? No, not just on my own. I'll have to talk it over with my supervisor, Miss Campbell, and of course... We've You're got... from the children's department? No, I'm from the NSPCC. We don't know that, do we? She could be from the children's department? Why would she say she was if she No, was? it's all right. I, I have a card here that... Thank you. Now, I'm, uh... I'm going to have to start by asking you one or two questions. Yeah, well, that's what you come for, isn't it? Right. Now, it's Mr. E and Mrs. S. Goss, is that right? And just the two children, Timmy and Mandy. How old is Timmy? Uh, four last birthday, wasn't he? And you rent this caravan from Mr. Sykes at the farm. How long have you been here? Uh, three weeks tomorrow. And where were you living before? Birmingham. Well, I I had a job up there, you see, but um, I got I got laid off. Uh, so, uh, well, then we heard that there was work going around here, so uh, here we are then, aren't we? Where are you working now? And what sort of work do you do? He starts Monday. What's that point? No, I'm, <clears throat> I'm not working. I ain't got a job. You're signed on at the Labour Exchange? Well, no, because, uh, well, I had a bit of back pay, you see, from when I was turned off up there and... Uh, so, you see, I... Uh... What sort of work do you do, Mr Goss? Oh, anything. Farm work, labouring, building sites, bit of buying and selling. Anything that comes. But you haven't found anything at all around here? <clears throat> no, not yet. How long have you been married? Uh, Five six months. years. Oh. Well, he's not mine, see. He's, uh, he's hers by another bloke which you near before me. Does he pay maintenance for him, Mrs Goss? I would like to see Timmy again before I go. Is he outside? Could you...? Yeah. Get in, will you, love? Timmy! Come on in a minute. This lady wants to talk to you. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, not you. Go on, up it. Come on. Oh, how many times have I told oh, you to yeah. watch where you're walking? God, where you been? Field. Stand still. Come here. Where well, you got mud all over your boots? Come here. Oh, I'm ever so sorry about that, miss. Yeah, only one place for them, isn't there? Oh, Christ. Oh, yeah. Seven, drop them boots! Oh, I'll oh, get them. On. Where's your slippers? Sherbert, come on. On your bed. Sherbert, look, this lady, she wants to ask you a few questions. Now, she's not going to bite you, so you speak up nice and loud and clear and...
tell her what she wants to know, all right? Now, let's get them slippers on for you. Yeah. Put your foot in. That's it. Freddy's a, a bit shy with strangers. <laughs> If you don't mind me stopping with him until he gets a bit used to you, you know. It's all right. I don't need to bother him today. I just wanted to see him, that's all. Uh, and some little bloke, isn't he? <laughs> you got your mum's eyes, haven't you? Yeah. Here. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you want me to uh, take your shirt off? Oh. No, no that's, that won't be necessary. Thank you for coming in to see me, Timmy. You can go off and play again if you want to. Oh, sweet, eh? Cool. Up you come then, you mummy. Go on. Help yourself. That's it. That's a good... Yeah, you said, hey, sweetie, you got two, haven't you? Mm. All right, well, go on, take the other one to your mum. Off you go. That's it. And watch where you're walking, eh? Oh, Timmy, not in your slippers. Oh, you put your boots on. She always keeps him very clean, you know. Very it's not only today. Mr. Goss, you do understand that I, I can't hope to get a proper picture in one visit like this. I'll, I'll have to come again quite a lot. <clears throat> yeah, well... It's all right. I mean, there's always one of us about. Fine. Yeah. Here, you didn't get your tea, did you? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's uh, it's not easy for her, you know, with two kids. Well, uh, and me, because <laughs> uh, I don't always get up in the morning. So, uh, if you don't mind me not being, well, properly dressed in that. No, that doesn't matter. Sugar? No, thank you. Oh, that's all right, then. Thanks. And they, they usually get a bit, you know, Who's they? Well, whoever it is. Welfare, council, assistance, WVS, we've had them all. We, we, we even had a vicar up in Preston. No, no, Derby, I think it was. You've, um, you've moved around quite a lot then. Yeah, hundreds of places. Well, I suppose it must be by now. I thought, well, I thought I might change with Sheila, but... Your rent's paid here, is it? Yeah, one week in advance. Old man Sykes has mentioned it a couple of times. But the Social Security, uh, the assistance board, they'd help you with the rent. Yeah, I mean, signing on though, don't it? I mean, all them questions, what was your last employer, where do you work, where's your cards, do this. I can't stand answering questions. Well, you've answered all mine. Well, yeah, I suppose I, suppose I have, not I? Can I ask you one more? What exactly do you live on? Like I said, selling scrap, old bedsteads, stuff people leave lying about. Do you know, they'll even give you a couple of books to take it away sometimes. And at the moment? She'd have had enough before long, you know. I mean, she could have got herself a decent bloke if she wanted. Well, she hasn't, has she? You know, she even waited for me. How do you mean waited? Well, when I when I was in Nick, uh, two lots of six months I'd done. Well, only once since I've been with her, though. The other was about seven or eight years back now. Oh, would you mind telling me what for? First time was... What was it now? Yeah, copper tubing. Well, I, I, I knew it was Nick, see, because, uh, well, this fell off in my cheek, you know. And, well, I suppose he was desperate to get rid of it. And well, the law comes round, and there it is, lying in the hallway. <laughs> I mean, he couldn't miss it, you see. <laughs> but, yeah. <clears throat> she doesn't know about that one, though, because, uh, well, it was before I met her, see. So, 